Hey, good morning, guys. Just woke up and some. Oh, before we start. That's better. Just woke up and before we start. Good news. It's coming. Gifting's coming. Waking up to gifts. It'll be cool. And, oh, disclaimer. Soon. 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 I'll just read out some of this. It's going to be a short one because I just woke up. Still in bed. That's how good it is. Want your honey duke's chocolate bar with a side serving of extra energy to share? Maybe you'd prefer a bonus runestone with the spoils of your fortress victories to seal your to treat your comrades. Or perhaps an extra harvest of ingredients from a greenhouse to bestow on a fellow friend f- from the SOS task force. The season of giving starts early in Harry Potter, which is tonight with the introduction of gifting. So it'll probably be an upgrade, but um, we'll see. Coming soon. Soon. <laughs> we know what that means. Um, you'll have the chance to collect special gift boxes when you dine at inns, pull potted plants in greenhouses, and complete wizarding challenges in fortresses. Then you'll be able to send and receive gifts from friends through your friend list or ministry ID page, all properly delivered by our post. No postage required. Okay, more details. Go take a page. Gift boxes collected from different types of locations contain different rewards and are visually different to indicate what the gift contains. In addition, all gift boxes will grant wizarding XP. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. And may have the chance of containing additional special items. It's not guaranteed, but... So, um, gift spell energy. So, blue gift boxes collected from inns will reward players with spell energy. So, if you know people in um, remote areas, that's probably the best gift to send them. Um, gift runestones. Um, yellow gift boxes collected from fortresses will reward players with runestones. So if you know someone that does lots and lots of fortresses, that's probably what they would want. Yeah, so you can start planning what you're going to give to, to people. Gift ingredients. Green gift boxes collected from greenhouses will reward players with potion ingredients. I guess that's again if people in remote areas or you know they struggle to get ingredients, that's what you send them. Okay, so there are the three things, four things you'll receive. So you'll receive XP, spell energy, rune stones, and ingredients. Which is a yeah, good cross section. The next page, what have we got? Gift boxes collected at sponsored locations will reward gifts that contain greater base rewards. So if any of my friends are aboard, I would like. Runestones, so from your sponsored fortresses. <laughs> okay, gifts are meant for giving, so why you can't open your gifts, you can So why you can't open the gifts you collect yourself, share them with your family and friends, and they'll gladly return the favour. I added to family. The boxes you collect will be stored in a new gift inventory page and can only be sent to other players that you've added to your friend list. So you've got to wait for uh, download assets probably and you'll get all these come through. Only, okay, it's important bit. Only one gift can be sent to the same friend every 24 hours. So if you play Poco, then you'll know you're going to do so many. Um, so you can send... Okay, only one gift can be sent to the friend of there, and you can't send another gift if the first is unopened. As gifting never goes out of style, all gifts will never expire. You'll be able to store a maximum of 100 gifts in your inventory, and you can open a maximum of 10 gifts per day. Now that's half of Pokemon Go. Okay. But it doesn't say anything about 
um, extra gift XP. It's only when you open it, you get the gift XP. So there's no friendship XP or anything like that. So we don't know if the friendship is being boosted. Doesn't look like it at the moment. Share your holiday travels by stocking up on gifts and sending them to your friends. Both you and your receiving friend will be able to see the point of interest from where your gift is collected. So yeah, excellent. That's great. It's um, one of the things that we want. Um, this will probably come before adventure thing, looking at it. Um, or soon. Um, so yeah, hopefully, th yeah, that's good. It's great news. So um, gifting, yeah. Uh, means we can receive stuff uh, from abroad from friends, so now it's worth, especially as in Australia, to have friends near um, sponsored fortresses. So, well, for me personally, um, and all those in remote areas can receive gifts. So yeah, this this is an update that we we'd like to see. So, kudos. Um, Okay, news about my competition. We might as well do this today as well. Uh, my competition for the books. Let me go and get the book. Let me go and get a book. It's just there. I didn't bring it too close. There we go. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, the book. Okay. In on Friday, so it's four days time, is it? Three, four days time. I'm going to do a Dark Chamber 5, Runestone 5. To win this book, you need to predict or guess what time I will do it in. So the closest time wins. So it'll be whatever the clock says, just before the victory screen comes up. As if I complete it, of course. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's what the competition's going to be. Um, so we've got gifting coming, the competition on Friday to win the book. And then I've also got my advent calendar to open. Um, that'll be coming soon as well. So, yeah, cool. Exciting times ahead. Um, and we'll uh, see you next time. Well, I'll go back to bed. See ya. Bye.